There you have it, Titans fans. It is September 25th, 2022, week three of NFL action. And within the last hour as of this recording, the Tennessee Titans pick up their first win of the season. Win. Oh my gosh, after what happened in Buffalo last Monday, winning felt like something that would never happen again. But thank God the Tennessee Titans pick up their first win of the season over the Las Vegas Raiders at home. 24-22, they hang on (laughs) by the hairs of their chinny-chin-chin. They hang on to beat the Raiders. There's a lot this team still needs to work on. Okay, there's so much that needs to still be fixed, but it's a lot easier to talk about those things when you win as opposed to when you lose, as we have found out over the last couple of weeks. And in the fourth quarter, the Titans tried. Get the Kevin Byard jersey here, 100th game today. What a career he has had and continues to have. They tried to give this thing away. Felt like I was watching the Giants in week one all over again. They tried, but thank God... They held on for the win. So the offense that we have all complained about, Todd Downing, Tannehill, offensive line, Henry not getting weapons involved. In the first half of this game, it was all better. It was all better. Robert Woods is is doing stuff. Derrick Henry has his best half of the season. Tannehill is just lighting them up. The offensive line's protecting well. The play calling is better. We still have some formations that are Jeff Swaim and Cody Hollister. But for the most part, the first half of this game, man, we were rolling. We had 24 points at halftime. Uh, I think it was 24 to 10 at halftime, man. I was feeling good. What happened in the second half of this game? Like, I, I just, I don't, I don't understand. What happened? What happened to Robert Woods in the second half of this game? Why are we not trying to get the ball to Traylon Burks anymore in the second half of this game? Why? I mean, Derrick Henry did nothing, and that's usually the opposite of what he does. He's usually off in the first half and then goes off in the second half. That was the opposite today. He had a really good first half, liked them getting him involved in the passing game. I liked that. But then in the second half, it was like, okay, we're, we're just hanging on. We're, that's what they did in the second half offensively. They just tried to hang on. Tannehill had a bad interception. Defense bailed him out, but he had a bad interception. Speaking of the defense, there were some good things today, but there's a lot of things that leave me uneasy still. First of all, Terrence Mitchell, is that his name? (laughs) He may be cut, like, tonight. He may not even still be on the roster tomorrow. He got torched. And I'm telling you, as it turns out that, you know, and I understand you're dealing with injuries, but as it turns out, you can't just go to random practice squad people and pull them in and put them in the game and then be good. As it turns out, that doesn't exactly work a lot. Okay, so he had a bad day at the office. With that being said, I actually thought the Titans defense did a pretty good job of shutting down Devontae Adams, who's one of the best receivers in the league. I know he had a touchdown. But overall, I mean, it's not like he was dominating us or anything. Josh Jacobs uh, had 60-something yards, you know, so he was pretty quiet. Um, but it was it was whoever Terrence Mitchell was covering. I don't remember the guy's name, number 10. He's going off. The pass rush still concerns me. Being able to get to the passer is the most important thing a defense can do in the NFL. That is critical and the Titans were so good at it last year. I know they're dealing with injuries. Harold Landry's not coming back. They need Bud Dupree back out on the field. Rashad Weaver does some good things. Jeff Simmons. If I don't know if anybody ever watches Jeff Simmons in a game. Just pick a play and watch him. He is such a monster. He is giving it everything he's got. Uh, we could really stand to see Danico Autry go back to being like... The Danico Autry that we came to know last year. I don't know what's going on there. Zach Cunningham, who got hurt. I hope he's okay. He's had trouble kind of getting it going. We got to get that pass rush (laughs) figured out. Okay, we have got to get that pass rush figured out. Hopefully getting Bud Dupree, Ola, Daney, getting those guys back will help. Secondary, I got to give a little credit. Christian Fulton being back was huge. He got hurt toward the end of the game. He walked off on his own, so I hope he's good. 
it is very critical that they have him in the game. He is the best corner on this team. It's not even close. I'm not saying he's perfect, but he is by far. He he saved them a few times today. Roger McCreary, the rookie, he's holding his own. I will give him he is holding his own, and I'm excited about him. Caleb Farley, I'm concerned. I'm concerned. Last week he was horrible. This week, I think he literally played one play. And it was when Christian Fulton got hurt at the end. So I guess maybe Fulton came back in. They don't have faith in that guy. And after Buffalo, I understand why. But that's a first round draft pick right there. They need to figure it out with him. And Dylan Radins too. Dylan Radins, who on the offensive line, he's offensive uh, tackle that they took last year in the second round. He's now been passed over for a rookie, uh, undersized Aaron Brewer, and now a career backup Dennis Daly. Dennis Daly, I'll give him credit. People did not want to see him in the game. Uh, and oh, we love Taylor Lewan. I hate the news about Taylor Lewan. God bless you, my friend. And if this is the end, thank you for everything that you have done for this organization. But everybody was like, Dennis Daly, are we really going with this guy? He held his own today. I don't even, uh, did Tannehill get sacked one time today? Uh, that's That's good. That's good. I don't think he got sacked. Am I forgetting? I don't think Tana. I know he was under some pressure at times, but of course. Um, but he held his own. <laughs> it's just the, the, the Dylan Radins thing and Caleb Farley. I mean, that's their first two draft picks from the last draft. And they don't trust him. Like, I don't know what's going on there. But um, either way, we got to get some injured guys healthy. Let's hope that the injuries from today to guys like Zach Cunningham and Christian Fulton are not too bad. Because the Colts won today. That's the only bad thing that happened today is that the Colts won over the Chiefs. Kansas City, of all games for you guys to go and lay an egg, did it have to be against Indianapolis? So now we got to go to Indianapolis. And the Titans won today, but they still didn't perform in such a way that makes me like, oh, yeah, we can beat anybody. Uh, No, I ain't saying that. We had to hang on to win this one. So they better go ready, ready to do something. Make some noise in Indianapolis. All in all, the most important thing always, we won the game. That's the most important thing. I don't care if it looks good. I don't care if we went two to nothing. As long as we got more points than the other team at the end of the game, I don't care how we got there. And the Raiders did help us out today with some drop passes. Not a lot of people talk about that, but there was some drop passes in this game that helped the Titans out. So we still got to get this secondary right was glad to see Kevin Byard get the interception in his 100th game. Uh, was glad to see Rashad Weaver got a sack in this game. They're going to need him to continue to step up. But defensively, there are things to get right. Secondary, pass rush. Offensively, what happened in the second half? Usually the Titans just put together a good first drive. Today they actually put together a good first half. So maybe we're heading in the right direction. You know, Maybe next week we can put together three good quarters. Okay. And then in a couple weeks, we'll actually have a full game of good play calling. Henry got going today. Offensive line was better than I would have expected. So let's all take a deep breath. We're in the win column. We're in the AFC South. So everything's right in front of us. It's the worst division in football. And we got a big game next week in Indianapolis. Y'all know how us Titans fans feel about the Colts. I got no love for the Colts. So we better go up there and whoop them. Get this stuff right. And go win. Tighten up. Good win. Bye.